Speakers are arguably the most important performance modification you can make to your car. And up until this point, we've only driven the BRZ on winter tires and Michelin Primacies that came on the car. The stock tires just didn't hold up on track, and honestly, it was time we experienced some more Gs in our BRZ. We wanted a set of tires that did it all. They had to hold up for a 20 minute lapping session at the track, perform well not only in the dry, but also in the wet, ride decently on Michigan's harsh roads, and be quiet on the highway. After a little bit of research and discussion with fellow drivers, we arrived at the Falcon Azini's RT615K tire. This tire's been out for a little while, with the K being the most recent tread compound update. Falcon offers a number of different sizes in this tire, from 14 inches to 18 inches, but we decided to go with a set of 225, 45s The main reason being that we found a sweet set of lightweight SSR GT2 wheels on Craigslist, and didn't want to go much wider than a 225 on a 7.5 inch wide wheel. Once mounted up, each wheel and tire weighed in at 40 pounds, exactly the same weight as the factory setup. Let's talk about initial impressions. Ride quality is actually pretty good, considering the higher load rating of these 225 section tires. And it's a small difference, but these Zinis seem to almost ride a little bit better than the stock tires. We found the stock Michelins to be bouncy over larger bumps, and the stiffer sidewalls of the Falcons seem to be a better match for the BRZ's damping. Road noise after a couple thousand miles and a track day is minimal. There's a faint rumble on really smooth pavement, but it's barely audible over the engine and wind noise. Let's talk about grip and handling. As you'd expect, the Azinis are sticky, really sticky. We have yet to compare lap times with the stock tires around the track, but we imagine the difference will be significant. We'll be sure to make a comparison video for you here soon. Turn-in response is incredibly sharp with these tires. The Azinis seem to love tire pressure. We run them on the BRZ on the street at around 35 pounds, and on the track, around 36 pounds in the front and 35 pounds in the rear once hot. During our track day, we were taking air out all day as we started around 34 PSI all the way around, and that crept up to about 42 PSI once the tires came up to temperature. We probably should have taken a couple more pounds out of the front tires. As you'll notice here, we were running into a little bit of understeer. On track, we found grip to be surprisingly consistent between temperature extremes. When cold, these tires provide a lot of driving confidence right out of the pits. We found that they only took about half a lap to warm up before we could start pushing them. The tires never got greasy and breakaway was very progressive. Sliding around the track can be fun, but we argue that the Subaru BRZ is just as, if not more rewarding to drive on a proper set of tires. We're really pleased with how capable the RT615Ks are in a variety of situations. They're comfortable, quiet, and incredibly grippy in the dry and the wet. They probably won't be coming off the car until the temperatures begin to drop this fall. That's all for this update on the Winding Road TV Project BRZ. Keep an eye out later this month for when the BRZ gets a little bit more power thanks to a tune and some E85.